There is so much that we can't talk about on YouTube anymore. Their community guidelines have just... I'll leave a link to the community guidelines to take a look at it for yourself. There is just so much they don't allow anymore. And, you know, we've seen people's channels get taken down without even having any strikes. It's odd the things that are considered safe to talk about and the things that are not. When they're not allowing a discussion anymore, because, I mean, we can't even, I can't even feature clips of people that are violating their, their community guidelines. It doesn't matter if I'm speaking against, uh, against this person that I'm, that I'm having, a, having video footage of. They can still, uh, you know, put a strike against my channel for having that kind of content. And I was very lucky that, that on that last, uh, that last situation. Uh, it failed twice, and then suddenly the next day it, it was all right. So, And then there's the comment section. I've talked about it before. Every person's profile... There's a bunch, there's a hidden profile that only Google can really see. Everything you do across your Google account is taken into consideration as to what you can, you know, what their AI will allow you to say in comments. And then each channel you go to has its own set of rules of things that you can and cannot say. So there's your own profile and there's the channel you're going to. When they do this, it creates echo chambers. It creates division. This isn't a good thing. Okay, people can say, oh, well, we're stopping misinformation and disinformation. Yeah, yeah but you're just shoving it underground. These, these people still believe this stuff. How are we going to get people to change their minds? Well, it seems that people... I, I had a conversation last year at some point with someone who was saying that, well, we should just let these 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 right-wingers go far right, and then when they get toxic enough, you just round them up and toss them in jail and throw away the key. That's sort of the mindset behind this. Well, just just let them keep getting more toxic, and then we can throw them away. And I just have a hard time with that kind of mindset. We should be able to have a discussion. But that's not how it is anymore. And people can say, well, you know, that's that's those are their rules, and you know what? You're right that those are their rules. They can turn YouTube into whatever they want, you know? And as long as I'm still able to complain about it, I, I will. So, you know, they, they can turn this into network television if they want. That seems to be the direction they're wanting to head anyway. So, you know, they want to be the replacement for network television. So that leaves people like me out, right? A lot of YouTube creators out. It's certainly not what it used to be. Anyway, thanks for watching.